Hi, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, and I want to talk to you today about the particular needs of white beards and white hair. When I first grew a beard, obviously there were certain issues that I had to deal with. One of those things was when it gets to a certain length, you stop drinking out of glasses. For instance, you go out to a pub, you're not drinking from a pint glass anymore, you're drinking from a bottle because the bottle can fit underneath a mustache and you don't end up with a beard mustache. Just simple things like that. But what happens when you have a white beard, when your hair turns gray, silver, white, then you end up getting the colors of the food that you eat, uh, the colors of the environment on your face, in your hair, and it doesn't look really good. So what I developed was a, a brightener, whitener. It's not a bleach, but this is something that I want to show you. It's right here, and I'm going to show you how to make it today. It's a paste that I make out of baking soda, and you can see it's literally a paste. Can you see that? About the same consistency as toothpaste. And I make it in little jars that I save. Working in the hair industry, you always have all kinds of little jars that you end up saving, and you just take the label off, and they're very handy. So, this particular product I make out of baking soda. Very simple. It doesn't bleach the beard. It literally brightens it and whitens it. And that's an issue with gray, silver, and white hair is that you usually end up with a, uh, uh, around the mustache area, um, you know, you have a plate of hot buffalo wings uh, one night. You know, you end up with like reddish brown. You look like the Joker from Batman. And uh, you end up having the colors of whatever you ate. So you, uh, if you eat Italian food and there's red sauce, forget about it. It just... You know, it just ruins your beard. So I developed something that brightens the beard. It neutralizes any colors. And it's something that I would use about once a week. So baking soda is number one. Now this is from a Layrite pomade container. I save these things. I fill that up. Okay, like that. Fill it up with baking soda. I put it in a bowl. And then, then I take hydrogen peroxide, put that in there, squeeze that in, to the point where it makes a paste, not just wets it, but literally makes it loose. And then I'll take rosemary, which is known as a brightener as well. It's a, uh, a clear oil, essential oil, from rosemary, and I put 20 drops in. So we'll do that, two, three, four. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. And then I take a popsicle stick or tongue depressor or wooden thingy and stir it up in here like that. And you can see it's almost like a, becoming like a, a very crumbly dough. I want it still a little more pasty. squeeze that in, and I have no amounts. This is, I do this the same way that I cook. Everything is by, just by feel. And still you can see it's like a little crumbly, but not pasty yet. I want to make sure that I get a really, really good mixture going. And maybe just a little bit more. Hydrogen peroxide. This thing here costs about maybe $2 at your local pharmacy or discount store. There you go. Now, see, it's all starting to stick together. Very pasty, not like dough. I'm going to transfer it, transfer it to this. I try to keep things as sterile as possible because, like disposable sticks, because I don't, you know, you're putting this stuff on your face. So, all right, there we go. Now, overnight, this will turn a little bit more pasty. As you can see, can you see that? Okay. 
So I will put this top on. And tomorrow morning I'll give it a stir again. It'll be like the consistency of toothpaste. But how you use it is you take a scoop out with your stick or with a spoon, put it in your hands and rub it through the white beard. You let it stay on for 15 minutes, the 15 minutes before you would jump in the shower, obviously. And what it does, it brightens, takes away any uh, brassy tones, any food stains, anything like that. And it's actually good. Uh, the oil is good for the skin and it brightens the white beard. Now, it, does it bleach in the same way that uh, bleach would? No, it'll brighten a, uh, a white, gray, or a silver beard. It'll just appear to be brighter. And I do this like once a week. Uh, part of my cleansing routine that I'll show you in another video. So enjoy the white hair and beard cleansing and brightening paste. Try it yourself and shoot me an email, uh, respond down below, and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching. Again, this is George Bruno. Bye.